Hi guys, so I have another big bag of empties. This has actually been accumulated for some time. Most of these things are skincare empties, so uh, yeah, they're very much collected. Like, I haven't finished this all in one month. That'd be crazy. So, let's just grab and talk about it and let's put this bag somewhere else, shall we? I do have a couple things that aren't skincare items. I have some like body care, hair care, um, things like that. So let's start off with, I have two Dollar Tree items here. This is from Salon Selectives and this is their deep cleansing, volumizing shampoo. Um, not my favorite. I definitely wouldn't repurchase this. I love the smell of this, but I feel like every time I use this, my hair felt more, I don't know, like more dirty. Like there was stuff in my hair. Like the shampoo would collect in my hair and I didn't feel like my hair was clean. Not as squeaky clean as I would have liked it to be. So uh, I don't feel like it added volume to my hair as well. Uh, really nothing does, <laughs> to be honest. But uh, except for dry shampoo. My Batiste dry shampoo that adds volume but shampoo typically that says volumizing doesn't really volumize my hair. But yeah, so I don't really like this. Uh, I wouldn't repurchase this. It was only a dollar, so not a big deal. Uh, the only thing that I liked in that line is their deep conditioning product, but I don't like the conditioner as well, um, the regular conditioner. Okay, so this next thing is a bubble bath from My Little Pony. This is in Groovy Grape. I think out of all of the like My Little Pony things from the Dollar Tree, this is my favorite. I don't like the body wash, I don't like the shampoo, I don't like the conditioner, uh, but this I do like. It doesn't last a very long time just because the bubble bath itself is very thin, it's very liquidy, but it's, it's good. It definitely gives a ton of bubbles. This next thing is from Desert Essence Organics, and this is the Perfect Pistachio Foot Repair Cream. If you were looking for a good, a good foot cream, this is amazing. This is a, well, it's not too thick. It's just the right amount of consistency. It almost feels kind of balmy on my feet. I don't know, it just leaves a really nice layer of hydration, and it's probably the best it, it is. It's the best foot cream I've ever tried. It's a foot cream, but I get very happy about these things because especially during this time, dry feet, not good. So I like the scent of this as well. Um, definitely something that I would repurchase. This next thing, I don't know if you guys have heard of this brand. This is from the brand More. It is a Australian brand. It is fabulous. This is the hand and body lotion in Neroli Clementine, of course. This is a citrusy scent because that's what I love. Uh, but yeah, the smell of this is just amazing. It's one of the best smelling hand and body lotions I have ever smelled. This isn't a very thick lotion, so if you are someone who likes a very light consistency, this is almost, I would say, like a watery kind of consistency. It feels very refreshing on your skin and it really just like sinks in your skin. So I think that this would be like a really great summer body lotion because because it is so liquidy it's almost I don't know like cooling so um, yeah I really like this one but not for the winter it's not hydrating enough this next thing is a dry shampoo this is from a cure I would say out of all of the dry shampoos I have tried this is probably my least favorite hands down my least favorite this lasted ages like ages uh, but yeah this is the argon stem cell and Q10 um, dry shampoo it doesn't really have like a particular scent to it, it kind of smells just like cornstarch I just felt like it left a really yucky residue in my hair and I don't know it was just like putting a bunch of like cornstarch in my hair. The powder is just very thick. It's not a fine powder and it just kind of feels tacky and sticky on your hands. Like I have some of the powder on my hands now and it just feels, ugh, it feels yucky. 
Okay, this next thing I love. This is the Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oil. This one is in Vanilla Apricot. And they usually have sets of these, especially during the holidays. And if you have yet to try this, I would say definitely give this a shot if you are into, you know, body creams and things like that. This is a really good one. It's not overly thick. It's not overly thin. It's, yeah, it's a very nice, like, whipped consistency. It's lovely. I love it so much, and I love the scent of this. So, there is that. This next thing is a shampoo. This is the Bio Infusion Hydrating Shampoo. I believe that this is from... I want to say this is from like the Walgreens line. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on it. But yeah, this is Bio Infusion and um, this is lovely. First of all, the smell is intoxicating. Like you will fall in love with this for the smell alone. It smells so good. It almost reminds me of Victoria's Secret Love Spell. So if you are a fan of that scent, it smells kind of similar to that. Uh, but yeah, this was a very hydrating shampoo. And I definitely will repurchase this. It's one of my favorite shampoos. I wouldn't suggest using this like every day. This is like a, I don't know, twice a week, maybe three times a week kind of shampoo just because it is so hydrating. But it definitely is like a pick-me-up for my hair. Um, I have very thin hair, so hydrating shampoos aren't always the best. Um, but it's good. I like it. I love this for my daughter's hair because she has so much hair and she definitely needs something hydrating. So it makes my job easier when I have to comb out all of her hair. The next thing is from The Honest Company. I love The Honest Company. I love all of their products. And this is the Honest Shampoo and Body Wash. This is excellent stuff as well. This is um, very nourishing, but it's not overly hydrating either. It's just like right in the middle. And it's, it's just very gentle. And I like using this on my daughter Luna. Both of my daughters have very sensitive skin. They both have eczema. So... It's very important to use very um, natural products on them. So I trust this one. And it's tear free for the babies. So um, yeah, and the scent is just lovely. It's not a very overpowering kind of smell. It smells like orange creamsicle. Who doesn't want to smell like orange creamsicle? And this is another shampoo. This is from Pure Dior. And this is the Argan Oil. Uh, premium organic shampoo. It is for hair loss prevention. It's a hair loss prevention therapy. It says to use this every single day and I would say that using this every single day is kind of stripping on the hair. It's a very like squeaky clean kind of shampoo but it's excellent. I would say that for all of the uh, pregnant ladies out there that are about to have their baby or for those who are in their like postpartum phase you need this in your arsenal. And this is just really good to like stop um, your hair from shedding. This is one of the best products for that. So I highly, highly recommend this. It has really good um, ingredients in here. No harsh chemicals. Uh, it's very natural. Great for thinning hair, like I said, for receding hair lines. It does have like a very uh, aromatic kind of scent so I will say that so if you're not into that like early kind of smelling products you may not like this but it works so well so why not right I finished up these three like liquid liners I love liquid liners for just an everyday kind of thing um, my favorite liners are felt tip liners I love the Kat Von D one uh, but you know it's expensive so I don't want that drying really fast I don't want any of my felt tip liners drying really fast so I tend to use this on like a everyday kind of basis so I finished up three this one is the wet n wild mega liner and this one is just in the shade black and these are the elf liquid eyeliners if I would have to choose between the wet n wild and the elf I would prefer the e.l.f. I think that the brush is just so much better. The brush on the Wet n Wild one just splays too quickly and this one does dry up a little quicker. Finish up the shade Black and Midnight. Midnight is a beautiful like deep blue and it, it does show up rather well. I like using the blue one on just like days where I don't really want to put any eyeshadow but I just want like a little pop of color. That's really good. I believe everything else is skincare. So this is the Josie Marin Argan Cleansing Oil. I love the like double two-step kind of cleansing method. It's one of my favorite methods. So I usually go in with a more hydrating cleanser and then a more 
I don't want to say stripping cleanser, but a more like squeaky clean kind of cleanser. Uh, but this is so good, guys. So good. Uh, it's my first cleansing oil that I've ever tried. So I love it. It's what got me addicted to cleansing oils. Um, yeah, it smells fabulous too. It smells like oranges and it does the job. It really just like melts all of your makeup away. The only thing with cleansing oils, I think that they tend to... Like, I finish them up a little too quick just because they're really liquidy and I get kind of carried away. Uh, but nonetheless, I really like this. Very nourishing on the skin. So, definitely need like a, a bigger size of this real soon. This is another cleansing oil. It looks kind of gunky. Uh, but yeah, this is the Julep Bare Face Cleansing Oil. And this, uh, this has rosehip seed oil as well. And... I would say this is pretty much like a dupe for the Josie Marin one. So either or, and you're pretty much getting the same product. These smell identical too. This also smells like oranges. And yeah, the pump kind of broke, which sucked. So I had to open up the top and just pour it into my hand. And so um, I probably poured a little too much than I needed. But this is a really good cleansing oil. I really love it a lot. And I'm glad that I was able to try that because it came in one of my um, julep boxes. Okay, so this is the Julep, another Julep product. This is the Julep Daylight Defense for hands and face. I don't know if you can see all the gunk on here. It's disgusting. But this has SPF 30. It's it's one of my favorite SPFs. For sure, for sure, I would definitely repurchase this because this is an SPF that doesn't feel like an SPF. Like, SPFs are so thick and so gunky. This is very thin on the face. Uh, it's, it's even a great, like, primer. Um... I really like it a lot. I like it a lot. It doesn't have like that nasty... Well, I don't really mind the SPF smell, but if you do, it doesn't really have that SPF kind of smell to it. It kind of smells like oranges as well. I don't know. I think that's their theme or something. But yeah, the Julep Daylight Defense. A really good SPF. I finished up this, and this is kind of sad. This is... I want to say this is my favorite cleanser. If you know anything about me, I love skincare. Like, I would leave makeup in a heartbeat if you asked me if I could choose makeup or skincare. It would be skincare every time. And my favorite type of skincare product would have to be cleansers just because I can try out so many and they don't really, like, disrupt my skincare routine. They don't really do anything funky to my skin. Um, and they're just fun to try out. So... I don't know, I really love cleansers. This is my favorite cleanser. This is the Morning Time Cleanser from Yves Lam. So good, guys. This is a cleansing balm, so it is rather thick. They do have another cleansing balm, but it has like little, I don't know, like exfoliating particles in it. This one is just a straight up cleansing balm. And it has this really nice smell to it. It smells like cloves. It's very, I don't know, just, it's the perfect morning cleanser. Um, it just feels so nice on, on your face, very gentle. It's a nice little step that I love to do. And yeah, I'm kind of sad that this is gone. It's kind of pricey though, so I don't know if I will repurchase it in the near future, but I definitely will repurchase that. Okay, another cleansing balm. This is also really good as well. This is kind of pricey as well. But this is the One Love Organics Skin Savior Waterless Beauty Balm. I've heard that people use this for so many things, like even like as a as a lip balm. I've heard that this is just like a good moisturizer as well. I've just used this as a cleanser. The texture of this is a little bit different. It doesn't have like any like hard granules in it, but the texture is kind of gritty in a way. But I like that. Um, it smells so good too. It, it also has like a citrusy kind of orange scent as well. So yeah, this was really good to take off my makeup. Um, it is pricey, that's why I always purchase a little tiny tub of this. But it is really worth it. And if you're looking for a product with good ingredients, because this is natural and organic, um, yeah, I would definitely recommend this. I think that they have like a little like chamois that goes along with this, but I always just use my hands and that just works perfectly. So I like that a lot. Okay, this is another cleanser. I'm telling you guys, I love my cleansers. This is a creamy cleanser, so it's a little bit different. This is uh, the type of cleanser that I would use after like a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm. It doesn't strip my skin, but it's a little more 
you know, it leaves my skin a little more clean. It takes away the oily residue. So this is the Angelou Naturals Meyer Lemon Creamy Cleanser. And I love this. Um, even though it says for normal and combination skin, I love this for my dry skin. It gives me like a very nice brightened, radiant kind of complexion when I use this. I don't know what it is. There's There must be something really amazing in this. Uh, I mean, there's lemon and vitamin C. So I think those are the two things that really like brighten up the skin and give clarity to the skin. This is an amazing cleanser and um, definitely recommend to all of you guys. This is like a really good cleanser for any skin type really. So that's a win. Okay, so I have a face mask that I used. I'm I'm starting to love the face masks. I'm I'm starting to notice why they're so amazing. But this is from Tony Moly, and this is the coconut face mask sheet. Um, and this is for hydrating purposes. They have a ton, and they all do different things. Um, this is the only one that I have tried though. And at Sephora, they're like about seven dollars, and you get a pack of two, which isn't bad this is really good it smells so good if you like the smell of coconut you will like this it smells very like milky and I don't know just really good like coconut milk uh, but yeah very hydrating on the skin it made my skin very supple very nice um, and it's just it's just a fun little added bonus to your skincare routine this is the glam glow thirsty mud hydrating treatment this is a mask looks like that if you can see that um, uh, it smells so good. It smells like the beach. It just reminds me of the beach. I don't know why, but that's what it smells like. So when I first purchased this, I just, I loved it because it made my skin feel so good. It's like an exfoliating uh, mask where it just kind of like sloughs to all of the the dry, nasty skin off your face. It made my skin very sensitive like to everything else that I was using after that. And most of my skincare products are very gentle on my skin, so I was very shocked. Just love the results that I used it the first time like twice in that week. And I think that's what made my skin so sensitive. It's just a very harsh mask. I will say it works so good though. It will make your skin feel so soft softer than you've ever felt before. It does leave your skin very sensitive. It has this kind of like minty feeling as well, which I'm not really into. I hate when masks have that minty feeling to them. I don't know why they do that. But um, yeah, so I like it. Uh, I won't repurchase this though. It's too expensive. It does work, but uh, I have better masks. That doesn't leave my skin sensitive. Okay, so speaking of a better mask, this is the Ultra Repair Instant Oatmeal Mask. Now this is for dry skin, it's to nourish your skin. I like this mask because it only takes 10 minutes. It's one of those like quick, easy masks to put on. And yeah, you just wipe it away and your skin just feels really soft. It's not like a miracle worker, like the Glam Glow mask. Like it doesn't actually take off any dry skin, at least I don't think it does. But it does uh, give moisture to your skin. So I do, I do like this a lot. And I would repurchase it. Okay, this is from Antipodes, and I love Antipodes. I believe Antipodes is a New Zealand brand, and um, they have their, like, Manuka honey is, like, their main thing in New Zealand, and they have a lot of um, Manuka honey in their products. And I love the packaging of this. It feels like, I don't know, like aluminum-y. I don't know. I love the packaging. But this mask is wonderful. Another great mask to have in your arsenal if you have really dry skin. I will say that their line is kind of expensive. I believe that their ingredients are a little better than most. But yeah, it smells wonderful too. It smells like vanilla and oranges. It smells so good. But yeah, this was a really good one. Great if you have dry skin. Okay, this next one, this is the Aloe Botanica Aloe and Green Tea Oil Free Moisturizer. This is a really great moisturizer for the summer. Um, it's very lightweight. It's so, I don't know if you can see that. It's so, I don't know, liquidy. It's almost, it's like a cream and gel hybrid, I would say, because it's very lightweight, like a gel, almost translucent like a gel moisturizer. It's really good. Um, this is one of Jose's favorite moisturizers because it is just, it's very lightweight. Um, and yeah, I do recommend this especially if you have oily skin or combo skin this is really good because it's not 
heavy. This next thing is from Kojin Do. I've talked about this before. This has been in my favorites before. And this is the Cleansing Spa Water. And this is just a little itty bitty bottle of this. I think that this is like $12, I want to say. And you only get 3.38 fluid ounces. I think I would just stick with like the Sonic Hashik one. It works really good to just take off, like, especially my eye makeup. I love it for that. Um, yeah, it's a good makeup remover, but it's just a little expensive, and I can probably find things that are less expensive that do the same job, but it was nice to try. I love Cogent Dow. It's a great brand. Okay, so another Antipodes product. This is the Grape Seed Butter Cleanser. This is another cleansing balm, and it had a little spatula where you could just, you know, grab the amount that you needed and just apply it to your face. The smell of this is just fantastic. It kind of smells like cinnamon to me. I don't know why. Like an apple pie or something. I don't think that's what it smells like, but to me it smells like that. It has cocoa butter, hibiscus flour, it has a bunch of things. This is really good. Another really good cleansing balm. Probably one of my favorites. It's probably like my second favorite to the Eve Long one. I, I really like this one a lot. The consistency of this isn't as smooth as the Eve Long one, but it's not as clumpy as the One Love Organics. But yeah, really good stuff. But like I said, Antipodes is kind of expensive. And then I finished this guy. Um, this is another sad one to finish, but this is from Shea Terre Organics. Elise, the bubblegum princess, she sent this to me. This is Moroccan Rose Water. I believe she sent this to me because she wasn't like a fan of rose scented things. I love rose. This is a very true, true rose. If you don't like rose, please stay away from this because this is very potent. If you spray this on your face, it's like spraying your room with it. It's like spraying your house with it because it's very strong. I can see why people wouldn't like this, to be honest, but I love it. It's a very, I don't know, I just feel luxurious when I spray this on my face and I spray this morning, noon, and night. Um, Elise can attest that I haven't had this for that long and I finished this up. Loved this and I, I probably will check out more products from this brand just because this was excellent. I kind of went ham on this. This is another sad finish for me. This is probably one of my most expensive skincare products I have ever had in my life. And this is from By Terry. By Terry is a very expensive brand. And um, this is the Tint de Rose. I don't even know how to describe this. Uh, I got this as a gift from Jose. And it was a very surprising gift. This is a face cream. I saved a little bit so I could um, swatch it for you and do like a little close up. So, okay, so let me just read what it says here. It says, Hydra correcting and light catching skincare for a rosy, fresh complexion day and night. So this is very interesting because this is like like a highlight cream all over your face. It's very moisturizing, it's very nourishing. Just like, it pretty much like smooths your face. It's very nice. Um, it has a really nice rose scent as well. Not like this though. Like this is a rose that I think everybody would like. Pretty much a face cream that you can use day and night and it leaves a very nice rosy kind of tint to your skin it's it's kind of strange like a very nice ethereal kind of glow all over your face and I didn't use this during the day because I felt like it would change my foundation but I did use this at night as just sort of like a luxurious kind of product and I felt like a little princess with just like glowing sparkly rosy skin um, and it's kind of like a skincare plus makeup kind of product I don't know it's, it's so cool I think I don't know I would recommend if anybody wants to like splurge this is a good splurge just because it's such a unique kind of skincare product I loved it. Sad that it's gone though. And then um, this is from Julep as well. And this is the best petty prep ever. And this is like a little skincare product for your feet. Um, it has a chase in it. It has, let me see, lactic acid, glycolic acid. It has, uh, I believe, salicylic acid as well. Yes. So this is pretty much a chemical exfoliant. 
it basically sloughs all of your like dry skin from your feet away and it works really really good I just hate the packaging the packaging sucks it comes in it's so goopy it comes in a roller ball and um, after a while after using it for so many times it just ends up getting so goopy and so clogged up that the product wouldn't even come out and I would have to like squeeze out all the product and it would just be like a mess everywhere. I don't know if you guys have heard of the foot mask trends that everybody has been talking about. Target has a foot mask and it pretty much, um, you pretty much put the mask on your feet and by like two days your feet is just peeling away which is kind of disgusting and cool at the same time to be honest. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much the same thing but the packaging just sucks. So if they changed the packaging or made a foot mask with the same ingredients that is in this, fabulous. I would love it, I would buy it. Okay guys, so that is my empties. I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.